Uh, first things first, we have our double helix strand of biology and DNA and stuff like that, words. And uh, we, just, we just put a lot of pictures that we took over the art capstone and it just is really positive and this is the first thing you'll see when you walk in. All right. All right, second thing second, we have our art box and we got paintings to my right, my left, behind me. Not to the front, because that's, that's where you enter. But if you look behind me, we have a few paintings from one of our students. Uh, very nice, very nice, very fresh. And basically, it's being built right now, but at, at the end, people can just come in and look at all the uh, students' pieces and just bask in the awesomeness. Hi, I'm Fee McKinnon. I am the principal of MC Squared STEM High School. I think the 10th grade capstone for MC Squared STEM High School is really awesome. Everyone got a chance to be creative and explore art however they wanted to do it. I really like some of these kinetic sculptures. It's really cool how they're interactive and guests can come and check them all out. Hi, my name is Sheena Dukalik and I am in 10th grade at MC Squared High School. In this capstone, we learned about kinetic art and energy. We learned about gear rotation and how we could combine that into a project. So from the information, I have decided to create a kinetic art wheel. When you spin one gear, it makes the rest of them go in a circular motion in different directions, as you can see. <laughs> All right, this is Jada Shields, and she's going to tell us a little bit about her art. Okay, so. This is what I've been working on for the past few months, and it's just called Revolving Art. And we got the idea from an artist, his name is David C. Roy, and he created something similar to this, but it was mounted on a wall, and it had two panels opposed to three, and each panel had the same design, but it just spun different directions. So we decided to take that and add on to it, so we added three panels, and each panel has a different design to add to the illusion that you see from the front when it spins. And because we had to design it on a computer, then create a prototype of it, and then to see exactly how it would work, and then actually make the actual parts of it and then assemble it. So it was a long process, but it paid off. Hey, my name is Oliver. I'm here at uh, Mocha. This is uh, my project. Uh, I made a conductive keyboard uh, the way it works like we have a bracelet here as long as you're holding down like skin on this um on this material and then you touch the piano it connects the circuit so you can play um, what inspired me was like uh, definitely like the Harlem Renaissance and stuff like that because I, I really like music uh, yeah so I, I wanted to make an artistic project that would involve music because I really like music. Thank you.